What's going on guys and welcome to my second Inform review here in FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. Today guys we are going to be reviewing Inform Rojo of Sporting and Argentina, of course Sporting in the Liga Portuguesa and uh, in the last uh, Inform review we used Naldo and of course Inform Rojo is in the same squad as the Inform Naldo card so I showed this in the last episode we used the exact same squad. Now Inform Rojo of course the Argentine centre half from Sporting, uh, he's 6 foot 1, he has a 3 star weak foot and 2 star skill moves. <clears throat> He's a left-footed player, so keep that in mind. And, uh, of course, he does come from Argentina. His physical stats, acceleration 69, sprint speed 77, strength 84. Those are his key ones. His mental stats, 91 uh, aggression and 87 interceptions. His key skill stats for me were heading accuracy 80, long pass 80, uh, marking 85, uh, penalty 71, and slide tackle 74, stand tackle 89. So, as you can see, a very solid defender here. And, uh, again, I did use him in the inform Naldo side. So, those two will be a center back partnership for this inform review. <clears throat> And I have to admit, uh, this guy turned out to be just as good, if not even better, than the Inform Naldo, which is really surprising. So I picked up Inform Rojo for just over this card price, and I wasn't really expecting much of him. I thought it would be quite basic, to be honest, just a, a standard discard Inform, if you will. But he turned out to be an awesome defender. He really was. Uh, maybe because Inform Naldo has the high attacking work rate and medium defensive, Inform Rojo was the one that was really the, the, the sort of the defender of the two centre back partnerships. You know, Inform Naldo was like the uh, the attacking defender. Inform Rojo was the standard defender, but he was really, really decent. Now, there's no real sort of skill stat for this, but Inform Rojo tend to block so many shots. You can see on the screen, he put in loads and loads of blocks. He put in some fantastic challenges, and uh, his positioning was always key. He never seemed to let a uh, attacker blitz past him. His pace, as you saw, was uh, you know relatively good for a centre back, and um, he was always good at making those last ditch challenges, bailing me out quite a lot. And uh, it was just the perfect breed of centre half really like I said he he really got the defensive side of the game set up really nicely his tackling was fantastic he blocked so many shots and also when dribbling him out as well he was very very competent as well you see him flick the ball over a sl uh, slide tackle there and play the ball forward uh, in form Naldo you would have seen my last review yesterday evening in form Naldo was really really good when it came down to dribbling out of the box and passing it away and in form Rojo did the exact same as well he was very skillful very agile and very very decent at getting the ball away and and uh, creating some attacks as well, which you will see in just a moment. He was very decent. You can see there, he makes a good pass, and we go on the break, and uh, we end up scoring an absolute wonder goal here with Diego. I'm sorry, I had to, in <laughs> had to include this, even though it doesn't really matter too much, because this is a review about Inform Rojo. I had to include it anyway. But uh, yeah, he was very decent at making the tackles and then setting the attacks up, and that's what I really liked about him, you know. Once he made a tackle, we didn't just boot the ball away and hope for the best. Once we got the ball away, we then went on the counter, and Inform Rojo would always play a decent pass and start an attack. See here, he wins the ball, it's a fantastic ball over the top towards Osvaldo. We then go on the break, and uh, as you can see here, we actually end up scoring from this attack. So he was really good at not only defending, but also turning defense into attack. And that's one of the things I, I really do like when I pick a center back up, you know, someone that doesn't just get the job done, but does even more, you know. So he was good at not just defending, but also playing the ball forward, setting up attacks, and uh, getting stuff involved. And um, as you can see here, once we get the ball forward again, uh, this time we don't score, we actually win the penalty. And uh, as you would have seen as well from the skill stats, I I picked out penalties. Uh, I couldn't believe this, but he actually scored every single penalty we took with him, which is really surprising because although penalties may be quite easy for some people, I'm terrible at penalties. Anyone that watches my channel on a regular basis will know I'm terrible at penalties. But uh, in form Rojo, I let him take my penalties and he scored with every single one, which I found really, really surprising. But I thought I'd do this review about the same length as uh, the inform Naldo one, just show you how good he is in basic terms, really, not to spend too long talking about it and uh, just going over myself all the time and just constantly repeating what I'm saying. Just just show you the key stats really, where he's good at and like I said with Inform Rojo I have to say he was not only good at very, um, not, only, not only very good when defending but also when playing the ball forward and starting up attacks. He was very very good. So Inform Rojo like I said he goes for pretty much discard value to be honest. You're not going to be spending too many K, too many thousands of coins over what he goes uh, what he goes for in a quick sell price. So to be honest with Inform Rojo you may as well try him out because you're not going to lose any coins on him. You know, he's he's very worth picking up if you have a Liga Portuguesa side or if you have a uh, an Argentine side. Definitely worth picking up. And um, he's a very, very good centre-half to have with any partner. He really is a fantastic defender. And he's very good at creating chances as well, which I really do like in a centre-back.
So as always guys, really hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave a like, so much appreciated and it really does help my channel out. I hope this review has uh, helped you decide whether you would like to pick up Inform Rojo for your side or not. Um, I'm going to be doing a squad uh, sort of builder slash live commentary with a squad. You can see how it plays live in action if you will. But I uh, really hope you have enjoyed the review. If you have, please leave a like. Don't forget, if you have any suggestions for me on how I can improve this style of review, please let me know in the comments. All your feedback is greatly appreciated and uh, I look forward to seeing you for the squad builder slash live commentary of this squad and these two informed cards now done Rojo very soon.